so the involute curve is created next I'll create a sketch in this sketch I'll I'll reference the involute curve and the pitch dial this central one and uh, then I'll use this arc this concentric arc and by using this concentric arc I'll create an arc like this after creating this arc I will dimension it like this so basically this will be the width or the transverse tooth thickness this is basically the normal tooth thickness this will be in this direction and in this direction will be the transverse tooth thickness I input transverse tooth thickness spellings are correct you want to add this relation click OK and the relation is created after creating this sketch let's create a point on this sketch so uh, after clicking the point uh, click this curve and an output like this will come out be sure to input 0 0.5 there it will put this uh, point right into the middle of this created curve so after that click OK and now we will use this point and this coordinate system uh, this basically the center this axis as you can uh, see this axis this axis and this point to create a plane so in order to do that let's create let's click plane and select the axis and then select the point so it is defined completely we will click ok our plane will become zero. after creating this plane we will create uh, a mirror of this involute curve so that our teeth profile becomes complete so we will select this involute curve then click mirror and for mirroring we will use the plane that we have created uh, we, we created earlier so here is our involute curve which is quickly uh, completely defining our dimensions after creating the involute curve So after creating the curve, we will create a helical sweep. So go to sweep and helical sweep. So in helical sweep, we will first create helical sweep profile. And for the plane of the profile, we will select the plane that we created the datum 1 and we will click sketch for the references we will select this uh, plane <coughs> the plane opposite Uh, 
we will select this uh, lower, lower surface and this uh, and this excess so we have created uh, the plane and the sketch I'll click close next we will create a line from the top basically where we created the involute curve from that side to the opposite to the opposite end of the gear then here it is created after that we will mirror it uh, we will create a center line so here is our center line then we will select the curve the the, the line we created and we will mirror it so here it is mirrored no sorry I unexpectedly did it so after that I will I will convert it into construction the other curve that I created with mirror and then I will create dimension from this curve to the other mirrored curve and here it is our dimension I'll put the dimension as pitch diameters you want to add the relations yes so the pitch diameter is added as the dimension of the curve and our center line is is uh, as the center and here it is After that, we will click select to sketch the section of our section of our curve, basically helical sweep. To in order to create this section, we will click line, and we will create section from here to the center don't worry if it does it doesn't just click it uh, uh, doesn't uh, it, it is it uh, doesn't set or it is forced to set here just click right into the middle and after that click ok and uh, convert it into surface after converting into surface uh, you will use uh, you will check if it is right handed or left handed our radical sweep is right handed or left handed we will check our document to see if our curve is right handed or left handed the direction is right so you will click right it is already clicked then for lead we will the pitch of the helical sweep we will enter lead and we want to add lead as the future and here it is so just like this we will create our sweep profile that will be used for creating the tooth cross section okay after creating this helical sweep we will next create a simple sweep for this sweep the helical sweeps uh, pro profile will be used uh, and uh, here it is its outline or boundary is used as the um, as the profile and uh, we will check that it is solid it is and then 
we will select this as constant normal direction and from which direction it should be normal we will select this face as the normal direction mm, horizontal vertical control we will set it normal to surface and after that we will create our sketch so it comes out on the opposite I want to create it here so we will select the normal like this from this side next uh, we will create we will project both involute curves and uh, using the concentric arc we will create an arc from one curve to the other one arc here and one arc will be created here so in order to create this arc we will uh, Select from here to here. Next, we will delete all of the remaining unwanted segments of the lines, and some of them remains. So here it is. So. Our teeth is created. Now you will add chamfer to it. Suitable chamfer. You will set it to 0 0.1 because that is suitable for such dimensions. and the round should be 0 0.5 for this you can uh, this chamfer and round depends on the, 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 the dimensions of the teeth that you are creating for me for mine it is like this for your gear uh, if it is of a different dimension you can uh, uh, make it suitable okay after uh, this we will select these sweep the chamfer and the round that we created and we will group them all okay after grouping them we will select our group click pattern and uh, uncheck rest so that the axis x becomes visible and uh, from the uh, type of pattern we will select axis so it will say select the type of axis we will uh, select the cent central uh, axis and uh, because we want to create multiple not four many number of uh, gears we will put it to this and for uh, this dimension we will put the number of teeth for the number of teeth let's see how much they are 60 so we will input 60 and then we will select ok so it will take some time regenerating all of the gear teeth 